Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube lanes, it's your boy Tuglone. Today, uh, I'm gonna do like a little mini series that I'm not even really gonna consider it a series, just like a list of videos that hopefully is watched in order so that way it makes sense as to what I plan to do in the future. So, the first game that I need to start with in this little mini series is going to be Sword Art Online Memory Defrag. It is my first gotcha game ever. Uh, and I did come up on gotcha slash mobile games kind of late in the, I guess, gaming world. So, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, basically, I want to talk about uh, what SEO Memory Defrag is slash was to me, uh, what changed, and then what made me dislike the game the most. So uh, basically SEO Memory Defrag back in the day was something fun that I extremely enjoyed. Uh, there were multiple occasions where you would see me whale. Uh, basically whaling, putting money into the game so you can get the currency in order to pull for all of these pretty characters. Now, back in the day we only had four stars so most of these characters that are in this account that I don't even play anymore uh, didn't really exist until later on after the first uh, anniversary. So uh, these four star characters at the time would be super fun. You know, you'd do all these little ranking events and then you'd uh, go on to the next ranking event with a new banner that would come out and then you'd do the same process uh, once again. Now the five star came out and man, once the five star came out, it was around a time where it was kind of just unfortunate, man. Uh, it was at a time where Fate Grand Order was picking up, and it was where MD was kind of going down on a priority list for me. Uh, at the time, it was still kind of fun, but it just kind of felt like, man, it's like, if you don't have that newest character, it's gonna suck. You know, if you don't have those characters on top of their weapons you're just not really going to place that well yes you could argue oh well you have all these characters from the past that could help you but at that time the characters in the past were not good because we're going into the five star meta and the four stars can't combo so you're you know you're out of luck for uh needless to say so either which way uh, we go into this part of, oh man, all of a sudden people are, are starting to talk about esports and like, oh man, you got, you have to get number one in your, in your, uh, your ranking group. Otherwise you're just, you're just garbage. And it's like, what, what so th this game that was supposed to be fun for me, at least now started becoming this chore of dude you have to get number one you have to get number you can do better you can get a higher score you can do this why aren't you getting this oh your team this your team that those weapons if i had this if i had that and it just got to this point where it was like bruh all this toxicity made it to where i didn't even want to play the game it wasn't really the game switching over to the five star meta. It wasn't that, oh man, I'm shit out of luck. You know, I don't have these characters, so I'm not gonna do that great. It was the constant bombardment of not only, you know, whether it be from a content creator's perspective of, you know, your, uh, your, your views, your whatever, man, whatever you wanna say, whether it's just the community of the game, whether it's your own personal community, whether it's the people that, uh, you know, that are other content creators. They're like, oh, man, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you blah, 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 blah. You're supposed to be a professional, but it's like, bruh, nobody's a professional. I don't care if you have rank one in every single ranking event in the game. You're not a professional. Professionals get paid. Ain't none of us getting paid, brother. I mean, <laughs> unless, unless Bandai starts up some type of like league scene where you know we have all these players that go in and like try to get number one versus each other and they get paid nobody's a professional so this whole mentality of you're a professional when in reality you're not uh and you're not getting number one became so toxic that it made me say all right yeah i'm done with this game so that on top of the whole like you know 
If you get super unlucky, you gotta throw the money into it. If you have the money, if you even want to do that. Or just for, you know, I know for the sheer fact of some people who would like to collect just straight up waifus, they even felt, you know, it's like, man, you have to get that first spot. Otherwise, like, why are you playing? So the whole like toxicity on top of the like this what felt to be terrible pulls and a terrible investment uh just piled together and was like yo i'm done can't play no more that's where fate grand order comes in and that's where i will start the second video uh this is the biggest reason why literally because people thought they were pros and people thought that youtube content creators or twitch streamers had to be pros as well and it was like nah fam i just want to play for fun i can't play for fun i'm not gonna play so that's literally what it was wasn't the meta wasn't five stars who knows in before six stars come out whenever the second anniversary comes around who knows either which way uh that's what memory defrag was slash became slash why i quit for memory defrag and this is going to all tie in once you go into the next video real quickly before uh i end the video or start the video depending on where i put this in the edit if you can play the game for fun and you can just enjoy it for what it is and you really don't care or you don't have that pressure of like hey you have to do this you have to do this you have to get that then by all means memory defrag in like hindsight in 2020 it was a fun game uh i honestly just can't bring myself to come back and play it just for like i guess ptsd like i just will not and cannot do it but if you do decide to pick it up it is a lot of fun it really is or if you're still playing it and you still have fun hey dude by all means have at it this is just the i guess the the little journey or like what happened with my own experience of memory defrag let's either get in to the video or let's end the video there we go so guys thank y'all so much for watching i will hope to see you in the next video so that way it can kind of all make sense so until then that's the fat lady singing that's the bells are ringing and until the next video hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in the next one god bless and peace out